Welcome everybody to the McDonald's Jewel Box and the McDonald's Jewel Unbox update for March of 2025. So I want to say right now, this is probably the world famous, uh, most disgusting McDonald's food on the internet, on YouTube, aside from what they serve in Ohio every day, fresh. Uh, jokes aside, yes, this is a McDonald's cheeseburger, a McDonald's apple pie, and a McDonald's medium fries that's been sealed within its own moisture since May 31st of 2020. And this is basically the same thing, but it's been left out in the open since May 31st of 2022. So yes, this is sealed all within its own moisture. I used caulk uh, over the years. It has cracked here and there. Uh, I sealed that up too so it stays pristine uh, with the 2020 air and everything is authentic. And this was an experiment just to see if this stuff really does mold and go bad. And yes, McDonald's food, at least within, within its own moisture, will turn into this nasty brown dried up moldy substance the fries just become funkier and funkier every single month it is absolutely insane now as you've seen plenty of cases of mcdonald's food just being left out yeah when it's in uh the open air it's just gonna dry and preserve so check this out right here Yeah, this is all just absolutely dried up. Here's the bottom piece of the bun. It has cracked over time due to it just being dry. And if you could look underneath there, it's kind of hard to see. You do see the crustiness of the mustard and the pickles up under there as well. Now the fries have basically just uh, become hardened little sticks. Like so. And all of the grease has basically leaked from the bottom and it's soaked up this cardboard here. This is what it's supposed to look like, this dry part, but all of this is just grease. Ugh. And I guess the biggest update development is this apple pie. It's just become more white and just bleached looking. It used to look a bit more uh, brown and crisp, uh, but now it's just turning into this uh, mummy type of apple pie and these white little flakes have started developing around it as well so that is the weird thing even though this is left out in the open it is becoming more and more of a just i don't know nasty concoction of some type of growth on here so there is that but now let's take a look at the mcdonald's jewel box the nastiest mcdonald's food on the internet so the cheeseburger uh was the first to start doing a lot of commotion when I first sealed it in 2020. It started growing like a bunch of uh, white patchy clouds up above on the bun. And I guess over time that mold had just started eating and eating away till now it looks like a nasty brown diarrhea pancake here. And it's very muddy, mushy. Sometimes it dries out. Sometimes it gets wet again. It just has a mind of its own. It's, it's absolutely amazing what this thing has done over the years. So a view from the top here, you can see um, all the nastiness. Now, like right here is the most interesting part where it has got wet, dried up. It's now doing this flaky kind of thing. And I don't know what may happen. This may be the final evolution of it. It may get wet again and then dry and get flaky. We shall see. And the last of the white mold, there are a few dots here and there, but most of it is now gone. Uh, a lot of it is just on the edge of this wrapper that I laid it out to make a bed for the cheeseburger. So that's the top of the bun. As far as the cheese itself hanging off, that is what it looks like there. It's just a nice little shark fin of a muddy, nasty, moldy burger. So that is the McDonald's cheeseburger for you in the McDonald's jewel box. Now moving on to the fries. The fries have seen its share of all types of goodness happening over time. So from the front of the fry sleeve, 
you see that the red has basically turned into a yellow, almost blending in with the arch. Not exactly there, but it's making its way there. Now, the moisture of all this and the fries uh, deteriorating the box, you see a crack right there. So at some point, I really do expect this box, this sleeve, to finally give way from it just being so damp and moist inside there. It is uh, truly a disgusting thing, but it still has its acne. It is uh, going through its teenage years. It's developing still, and uh, the coolest thing that I've seen so far here is that there is a, a lot of growth of the mold and the edge of the box here becoming one with everything. And you see all those crystals kind of growing out of the fry, that front one in particular. That is uh, something that I've been noticing the past, I don't know, year or so. That's the biggest thing with the fries. You will see all kinds of these black specks on the fries and everything. It almost looks like TV static when you get up close and personal. And there's also a lot of white mold uh, growing. Looks like spider webs up pretty much. And it is uh, kind of just becoming a part of the box towards the back there as well. And I've noticed this fry in particular has gotten more frosted white uh, recently. I want to say the past six months or so. And over here on this side, it's just uh, becoming more and more nastier. Uh, this fry in particular, this is the latest development. Uh, it's becoming a black, just solid black. It looks really, truly nasty. So I don't know what made that become uh, a thing. But anyways, that is... All for the sake of science. So here is a side shot. And now we will get to the apple pie. And the apple pie was the longest thing to go without any kind of mold or anything happening to it. But I feel like once the uh, cheeseburger and all its nastiness kind of just navigated its way over to the pie, that's when things started popping off. Now you see these almost kind of breadcrumb things uh, forming on the pie. That is something new. I, I guess that's like some crystallization of the sugar that was inside the pie popping out. But uh, this thing has gone through a few different transformations. It stayed in form pretty well, but now it's become like a dried up looking... Uh, apple pie it looks like it's burnt like it's been thrown on the barbecue for too long and slathered with some kind of dark barbecue sauce and yeah it has a little breakage right there in the center from it drying up and it is just downright disgusting now i want to show you just the top part of the box uh just from the air itself it is uh forming mold spots just from inside the box on top there. So anyways, that is your update for the McDonald's Jewel box and the McDonald's Jewel Unbox for March of 2025. The nastiest McDonald's food uh, you will probably ever see. This bad boy is approaching almost five years old in May. So we got a big milestone coming up, half a decade. That's gonna be insane. And uh, that is it. Stay tuned next month for another update. And that is it. I am DJ Glowing Eyes. Thanks for watching. And make sure to send this to a friend when they're feeling very hungry. All right, guys. Peace out.